Hey guys, Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT, your good old friend Jack. And I'm out here in a new location today. I'm at the same park. I'm at US 1409, which is my standard park. And I decided to pick a new location. If you see right behind me, one thing, let's look. There's a portage on right behind me. You got to have one of those when you're doing a poda, right? But this is more than just about POTA. It's also about the G90. A lot of you guys, a lot of people comment, and there's a lot of comments going around the internet. Just look at any form you look at or Facebook groups or anything. Don't buy a G90 as your first radio. Uh, the G90 doesn't have enough power. Um, the G90 doesn't have this. The G90 doesn't have that. Let me tell you today, marks the day that I've had my best POTA activation ever with 75 CW QSOs. And Ed, I got you in the log. I'm going to email Ed when I get home and tell him thanks for uh, searching me out there this morning and hunting me. But thanks to all the other hunters, obviously 75. Now, I started on 40 meters uh, this morning, early. I've been out a total of about two hours, maybe a little bit more than two hours. And then I retuned and went to 20 meters. Now, one thing I can tell you about running the G90 radio, I found that with the G90, you have to have a decent antenna. If you have a decent antenna, pretty much any radio is going to work, right? But I tell you what, I can't be more pleased, and, you know, I'm not really advertising it. There'll be a link in the description below, but I'm not going to advertise it that way. I'm just telling you, I like telling you guys about something that simply works. And guys, I can't be more proud of this antenna. And you guys have seen it before, and you can see I got like kind of in the V configuration, but that's the JPC7, okay, up on the mast. That mast is from B&H Photo Video. I was talking to Bill yesterday. He goes, man, that looks like a $300 mast. Guys, it's 80 bucks. At least that's what it was when I bought it a few weeks ago, maybe a month. 80 bucks for that mast, okay. I believe it's a total of 14 feet high. Uh, there's, what, three sections on it, but it's all about the antenna, that JPC7. So if you team this antenna up with your G90 or with any radio, you're going to be really, really pleased. Now, I will tell you, with the coils, you do need a tuner. So either get yourself a Nano VNA or a rig expert, and you'll be very pleased with that. Now, let's get on to the POTA part of this talk. So... If you're just here for the G90, that's fine. I'm going to talk a little bit about the G90, uh, being able to tune around. And I even hunted some parks today, guys. I just tuned around. What's nice about the antenna itself, the JPC7, is you can just loosen up one of the clamps and actually turn the antenna, right? It's hard to do that with a wire antenna where you throw it up in a tree because you got to take it back down and string it in another location. The other thing I like about this antenna is I don't need anything else with it. I don't need a mass. I mean, outside the tripod, obviously. Uh, I was going to hang it in a tree sometime to see if that would work. I don't know why it wouldn't work if you don't have a mast. Pull the thing up in the tree. I'm sure it'll be fine. But what I want to talk to you about POTA is, I'm going to turn it this way now. I'll get me a little bit more light here. Are you one of those POTA activators? And I talked to Bill and I talked to Rob yesterday. Um, two actually ham radio guys two buddies i met by coming to us 1409 yesterday we had a chance to hang out i actually activated with bill he was working his radio behind me and i was working on another table i was on 40 meters he was on 20 meters did it bleed over yeah a little bit but it wasn't uh, unusable okay it wasn't unusable we were able to to both communicate uh, then bill thanks bill he allowed me to sit down and use the ICOM 7300 with 100 watts. I was using my G90 with 20 watts. And uh, I just wanted to experience it. But more than that, I wanted to experience his Begali key, right? That key is amazing. A little costly, but it is an amazing key. I went home and I told my wife, I said, now I have to buy that key. She goes, yeah, but how much was this? Said, yeah, we're not going to talk price, but I'm going to be looking into that key. It's like the... Um, the Traveler, not the Traveler, it's the other one. So it's a small one that goes like into different radios and they sell a base for it. I'll put a picture of it right here. Here you go. This is a picture of it. I don't have one. I'm not a part of Begali in any way. If you want to send one, Begali, send it my way. I would, I would definitely give it some press. But anyway, 
it appeared that we, um, hopefully you can see me okay. Myself and Bill talk later, we didn't really activate as much as we talked. Uh, the socializing, uh, the social part of yesterday's poda outing for all of us was uh, really nice. We both talked to Rob on the radio. He got us both because we're on his ham alerts. And then Rob, <laughs> Bill kept saying, I wonder if Rob's going to show up. And all of a sudden his car pulled in and Bill goes, there's Rob. And I didn't recognize his car. And sure enough, he came over and started talking. So he was going to activate after we were packing up and leaving. But really wanted to, wanted to talk to you about and ask you about. I just got a ham alert. I wonder if that's, that might be Bill. Let's see. No, that was uh, somebody on Facebook. Anyway. What I wanted to ask you about on POTA, you know, and I do all these different things I'm talking about. One, some days I leave work and I'll have the QMX with me and I come out here to the park, I set up and, um, you know, I just get 10 contacts. I pack up and want to get the heck home because, yeah, this old guy needs a nap. The other times, such as today, I knew I had time. It was a beautiful day out and it was cold this morning when I came here, so I was working in the car. That's where the picture came from, from the thumbnail of the G90. I worked in the car today. Um, but today was one of those, uh, not really marathon activations, because some people watch my videos and go, oh, you don't pot long enough. You need to pot a long time. You know, one time Stephen King said about reading a book, and, and I'm a big Stephen King fan, and I'm a big novel, reading novel fan. One time Stephen King said, you know, reading is, you could either read small chunks, medium chunks, or marathon chunks, right? You can sit and read, uh, you know, I do it at breakfast time in the morning, I'll be sitting there, maybe I'll, I'll read uh, half a chapter, okay? Or maybe I'll have time at lunchtime to read a whole chapter. Or on the weekend, I'll sit in the chair and I'll read a chunk, right? I'll read five or six, seven chapters in a row. I think POTA is the same way as that, right? Even soda. I don't know about soda. Because soda seems like you're walking up on those hillsides. Do you guys do that too? Do you do marathons? Or do you just simply, is it a sprint? Get up there, get your activations and get out. I haven't really contacted any soda people. I've never made a soda contact or hunted them. I mean, I guess I looked around, but I've never seen anybody. Um, but how, I don't know how that works. So what kind of POTA activator are you? Um, you know, I've seen a lot of you guys out there. You go out short time. Bill asked me yesterday, he goes, where's the cameras? And I was being selfish. I said, Bill, I don't record every activation. I don't. I don't bring the cameras out. Sometimes I come out, uh, I'm selfish, and it's just for me. I told my wife, POTA is one of those things where it's a very personal and very private thing. Um, you know, you're being an in invert, in invert, invert. Anyway, you know what I mean. You're just by yourself. And there's nobody around. It's really nice out here. I'm up on top of this mountain I found. Uh, I have good cell service and I have pretty good internet, so I'm pretty happy up here. And uh, to the 75 people where I worked uh, today, this video will be coming out on Tuesday, and I'll tell you what today is. Today is Sunday, and today is, I'll even give you the date. I'll date this video. I never date them. Today is October 5th, and like I said, I started this morning at about 9 o'clock in the morning, and I just wrapped up here about 11, so yeah, about two hours. So I thought today, and I could stay out longer, but CW is, I don't know how you guys work with CW. After a while, you need a little break. 75 CW contacts was a lot. I mean, I was pushing it. And I don't like to brag, but I made to make my second kilo today. I made my second kilo here at US 1409. Um, I'm sure I'll be sending a QSL card out. I'll go down to the list. I think I needed 60 contacts today, so I got 75 to make that second kilo. And I'll also probably be starting to look at, maybe look around for another park. I don't know. I mean, we have a lot of parks around us. We have some really, we have a really close um, state game land, which they marked as a poda park. But the high tension lines, the noise is just ungodly and you just can't work it. So maybe I'll find another place to work that. But yeah, there's a couple more parks around me that I can work. Um, I do like it out here. It's peaceful. It's quiet. It's like, I guess this is one of my home parks. But remember, in one of my other videos, and Bill was laughing, and I even told Rob, I said, you notice the sign at the bottom? I said, I stopped and I painted Bill's State Park. So if you ever come out to US 1409, look at the sign. You might see it doesn't say raccoon anymore. It just says Bill's State Park. But uh, it's all fun and games, right? All, all good times.
So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Are you a sprint? Are you a sprint guy? Are you one of those guys that, you know, um, wants to uh, do marathons all the time? Like some people comment, you know, you need to go to the park and stay there all day. And I don't always do that. Like I said, two hours of CW, it's plenty for me, man. I'm okay with it. And I know some of you guys can do CW for, you know, days. Uh, look at the contesters, man. But uh, a lot of that's computer-rated stuff, and I don't know. This is, POTA is you're copying it. You know, you don't have a computer. You're copying it, you're logging it, and you're sending with your fingers, right, with your hands. So to me, POTA is not, and people say, is POTA a contest? Uh, it is amongst friends. Myself and Rob have been competing for the top, for the second spot here at US 1409 for a long time. I'll be at work, he's retired, and I'll get an alert for Rob, and I'll go, Rob! <laughs> and my, 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 my students are like, wow, there's no Robs in our class. I'm like, no, a buddy of mine's out the park again, and uh, he's, uh, he's activating because he's retired. Yeah, he's retired. All right, guys, well, I don't want to make this video too long. I can say, once again, the G90 is a fantastic radio. I've been looking at the Yaesu 891. Uh, I may at some time purchase that radio, and I thought, then I could sell my G90. But I've made a lot of contacts on that radio, and I want to keep the G90. I don't want to let it go either. So I think that's what we do as hams. We buy more radios, and we keep the other ones, right? Because you never know. And I still carry the QMX as a backup in case the G90, in case the battery dies or something. Of course, I bought a second battery for it. I got two six amp hour batteries for the G90. All right, guys, I don't know how long this video is. I don't want to uh, battle or ramble on and on and on and on. But yeah, check out the JPC7 link below. I'll also put a link down there for that stand. That's a light stand, it's not really an antenna tripod stand. But that's what that thing requires is a light stand, like for uh, photography lighting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned a little bit more about me, about the guys, Bill and Rob. Uh, great guys, um, for sure. And there's um, uh, Dave. I hope I got your name right. Dave in Midland. Uh, he contacts all the time. He, he talks to all of us out here all the time. I want to go down to Midland. Midland, Pennsylvania is not far from us. I'd like to go down there and visit just to say hi and shake the guy's hand because he's always contacting us out here at the parks. And again, everybody else out there contacts us or contacted me today for the 75. Thank you very much. It was a long stretch. It, it was fun. I had a great time. Actually, the radio is cooling off right now because I didn't put the fan on it. So uh, it, it, it took a beating today, that's for sure. But guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, take care, everybody. It says Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango. W3CT, your good old friend Jack out here at the beautiful US 1409 on a beautiful October day of 2025. If you like these kind of videos, if you like me, smash that subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. Give this video a big thumbs up and share it so other people who have G90s or are looking at the JPC7 now have something to refer to. And um, I'm planning on making that at home. I'll probably make another video. I want to see if I can raise those elements up and make a delta loop, put a wire across it and see if it'll tune. That's on another video. Thanks, guys. 73s, hope to catch you on the airways. Bye for now. Talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.